Hi, this is Sam JCT coming at you with the picket fence method. The picket fence method is a very important method to learn, especially if you're going to be using my videos for future references. I'll be using it through all stoichiometry problems that I solve. Um, a quick reference to where you can come and visit me at on Facebook or you could email me at samjct at yahoo.com. The first question you may ask yourself is, well, what is the picket fence method? The answer is it's pretty much a method used to convert units. For a couple of examples, you have miles to kilometers or kilometers to miles, pounds to grams, grams to pounds, or centimeters to micrometers and micrometers to centimeters, and it goes on and on forever. There are a couple rules to know when you're learning the picket fence method. First, you're going to draw a horizontal and a vertical line. Then you're going to write down the given and unit information. For example, as I have here, you're going to enter the proper numbers for wanted units and given units. You're going to cancel the units out, and then you're going to multiply the top, multiply the bottom, and divide the two. And I'm going to show you how real quick. You're going to need a conversion factor and reference information sheet. I'm going to be using this throughout the video. Um, it's a really good sheet to have also if you want to stop the video right now and copy it down. The first example that I'm going to show you is how many meters are in 39 kilometers? So we have given 39 kilometers and we're going to want to find um, meters so we know by using our conversion factor sheet that there is one kilometer to 10 to the third meters. So we're going to draw out our picket fence and we know that there is 39 kilometers and one kilometer per 10 to the third meters which equals how many meters? We can cancel out kilometers and using our trusty calculator equals and then you divide that by one which I this is what I did right here then you divide and 39,000 meters is your answer. For the second example, we're going to do how many milligrams are in 39 kilograms. So we have the given information, which is 39 kilograms, and we want to find milligrams. and we know because we're using our conversion factors and reference information that there is one kilogram to ten to the third grams one milligram to which equals ten to the negative third grams and we are going to use this information right here. We have 
39 kilograms. In one kilogram, there is 10 to the third grams. In 10 to the negative third grams, there is one milligram. And using our trusty calculator again, we're going to do 39 times 10 to the third. Oops, I did that again. Which equals 39,000. Um, 39,000, and then we're going to divide that by 10 to the negative third. And we get 3.9 times 10 to the seventh milligram. I forgot to show you that I canceled out my units, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. Kilograms cancels out kilograms, and grams cancels out grams. And never forget your units. Most professors grade on that. And I have one more example for you, and this one's a little bit longer as a word problem. Jim is brewing beer. His recipe calls for 3.52 pounds of Munich malt. The brewing supply store sells the Munich malt by the kilogram. How many kilograms will Jim need to buy of the Munich malt? Okay, so we're going to go about this the same way we did the others. Oops. We're going to enter in our given information, which is 3.52 pounds. We need to find how many kilograms and what do we know? Well, using our conversion reference information, we're going to find out what we know. We have one pound is equal to approximately 453.59 grams, and 10 to the third gram is equal to one kilogram. And that's all we really need to know for that conversion. Draw our picket fence out right here. We have 3.52 pounds. In one pound, there's 453.59 grams. And in um, 10 to the third grams, there's one kilogram which equals. Once again, we got to get that trusty calculator out. Um, 3.52 times 453.59 times 1 equals um, 1,500 and 96 point a lot of decimal points which we never round off until the end. Then we're going to divide that by 1 times 10 to the third which equals 1.59663 six eight kilograms and I'll also show you how I deleted all those units pounds delete pounds grams delete grams and you're left with kilograms and I hope that helped with the picket fence and I'll be seeing you soon